today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a PCB in Eagle CAD. So we have our schematic outlined here. We're going to go up to this button right here, and it's going to switch us to a board layout. These yellow lines outline our board. First, go right here, change our units to millimeters, size to one millimeter, and 0.1 millimeter. And go into this upper right corner and drag it down paying attention to these numbers right here until it's 60 millimeters by 100 millimeters we're going to drag this is our Arduino we're going to drag it about dead center or so leave it there we're going to grab our micro SD card shield put it over here on the edge about as far as it'll go we're also going to grab our piezo buzzer right here put it in there and then we're going to grab our MPU 6050 and it's really that simple you just Drag in place, drag in place. Now that we have all of our objects placed, we're gonna go right over here to where it says route. Where it says ground, we're gonna bring this down, attach ground to ground. Same thing up here, ground to ground to ground and to ground. Bring this up and over, attach to ground. And then we're going to take bat to bat to bat and to bat, ground to ground, and buzzer, take and run it over, attach it to buzzer. And this is for the top layer, this is for a one-sided board. Everything will be milled on one side. And we're also going to have to do a couple things that are what we call viat, which is basically where we just take a wire and run it from one hole where it can run into another one. Which is where these are going to be, and we're going to click viat right here. We're going to set the drill size to 0.85. Diameter, we're going to set to 2 millimeters. Place one here, one here, one here, and one here. And now we're going to go to name. We're going to name this guy right here, Mosey. This one's CS. This one's Mosey. And this one's CS. Now we're going to go back to route. We're going to route each of these into their bias. We're going to run our servos into their respective pads. And that's really basically it. When it's finished, it should look about like so.